around there Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, Wayne. Yeah, it's nice to see that sun in the middle of the week. Thank you, Joseph. All right, Blazers looking forward to the break. Uh, but not everybody on the squad is taking time off. Actually, uh, got a couple players there. They're going to be busy. Got a couple guys who are going to be pretty busy. Mm -hmm. So let's start with it. Well, it is one of the most entertaining weekends of the entire NBA season, y'all, because it is all star weekend. So aside from Team LeBron and Team Durant going head to head in the actual all star game, we get to see what Portland's very own Anthony Simons is going to do in this year's dunk contest. So listen, if you all have not seen this man dunk in person or in the videos, I'm telling you, you're in for a treat because my man can absolutely fly. But this is his first experience at All-Star Weekend, so who better to ask for advice other than somebody who's already been there and done it before? Of course, that someone is six-time All-Star Damian Lillard. Don't try to jump over me because I'm 6'2". I'm like, that ain't go. <laughs> That's not going to do nothing for you. Like... Um, I was just like, man, be creative, you know, like use this as an opportunity for you to like elevate yourself. You know, people should know who he is. He's a young, super talented player. Um, you know, I told him like what it means for players in, uh, that play in Portland to be able to, to get onto these type of platforms. It don't happen often. So since we are talking about hoops, let's keep it right here in Portland. Portland State's men's basketball team took on Southern Utah earlier, who currently holds the top spot in the conference at 19 and three. And listen, it was a rough go around for the Vikings in this one because that Southern Utah team just shot the lights out. And on top of that, the Vikings had a number of good looks, y'all, but it was just one of those games, unfortunately, where they just could not buy a basket. They fall to Southern Utah, 73 to 54. All right, let's talk some women's hoops now. In case you guys missed it, Mountainside's very own Cameron Brink has been balling out this season. And last night she put up a monster game. She had a career high 24 points and 11 rebounds to help the Stanford Cardinals get a blowout win over my beloved Beavs. Yes, that is very sad, I know. But Stanford reaches the conference championship game. And so now number four Stanford is going up against number nine UCLA tomorrow at five. That's going to be a good game. All right, let's change the pace a little now. As many of you guys know, high school football is back. Yes, I am super excited for that. And today we had a matchup between the Jefferson Democrats and the Lincoln Cardinals. So Oregon State commit Demir Collins excelled, y'all, in today's game. It was just, it was ridiculous. My man racked up over 100 yards rushing on just 12 carries, averaging 10 yards a carry and scoring two touchdowns. That is what I am talking about. But Jefferson gets the win 13 to nothing in their season opener. Time now to head on over to the Diamond. The Beavs sealing their 10th straight win with a walk-off single. Yes, that is beautiful right there. Next up, Beavers take on the Ducks on Friday. So speaking of the Ducks, they have won back-to-back -back games against UC Santa Barbara, who is one of the top-ranked teams in the country. They are number seven. Good, good for the Ducks, man. My goodness, that's what I'm talking about. I am looking forward to that game next week with the Ducks and the Beavers. It's going to be a good one. All right, Wayne. Well, it's nice to see some sports back, man. Yeah, it is, isn't Come it? Come on, man. Yeah. It puts me in such a good mood. I mean, you heard me yelling a couple times. Marcus, you were, born, you were born in a good mood. I'm telling you. Oh, man, you. absolutely. <laughs> All, right. All the time, man. It's coming up on Coin 6 News at 6, Portland Police beefing 